This is from Richard Spencer. Our dream is a new society, an ethnostate that would be the gathering point for all Europeans. It would be a new society based on very different ideals than, say, the Declaration of Independence. Now, Beck curiously omitted the first part of Richard Spencer's quote, which was this. In the mid-19th century, many Jews in Central Europe had an idea of an ethnostate, an idea of Zionism. This is the basic fact that everybody who's shocked and appalled about the potential for white nationalism is like, okay, well, if you disagree with white nationalism, then of course you must be enormously opposed to Israel, which is an ethnostate. If you're not opposed to and criticizing Israel for being an ethnostate, then shut up about white nationalism because you're a racist, a coward, and a hypocrite. Uh, Richard Spencer went on to say, related to this process was the Balfour Declaration and British mandate for a homeland for the Jews in Palestine. You can criticize this uh, all you want, but you're basically criticizing the foundation of the state uh, of, of Israel. People don't generally like to do that because they will be attacked as uh, anti-Semitic. People don't want to criticize the ethnocentrism of uh, other countries because they'll be attacked as anti-Semitic or racist or what. You can be against nationalism, fine, but then you have to be against the non-white countries who are the most nationalistic and the most ethnocentric. Whites are the least nationalistic people. You can disagree with the argument that whites should have some kind of homeland if you want, sure. But if it's only whites who shouldn't have a homeland, you're a racist. If everyone else is allowed to have a homeland except whites, you're a racist.